Thank you to everyone that's been <clears throat> commenting on the situation out here with this engine. I know a lot of you don't think that driving it is a good idea. We warp the motor, blow the head gasket or whatever. And I appreciate that. But uh, that's what we're going to do. I, I take uh, Badge's advice and uh, Tiki owner's advice. And I do think that I can probably get about four or five miles pull over. It's 15 miles, so it's three times. We need to get this bus emptied out and get some room in here and let the engine cool and get to where I can work on it. We need to put the air conditioner in the in the window. That's one of the things that's one of the biggest um, obstacles right now is when it gets hot later today, it gets hot. The inside of the bus is 105 with all the windows open, a breeze coming through, and we don't have gas to run the generator to run the air conditioner. And rather than make trips back and forth to town for, I got a one gallon tank I can put in a backpack which is good for about one day. We're just gonna pack everything in and go for it. Let me show you the engine. I know I didn't do a very good job of showing the engine last time, so let me show you again. When I, I did find the serpentine uh, pattern, thank you for you guys that sent me links on that. Here is the culprit that messed up the belt, I'm pretty sure. It's all ruined right here, so I don't know how I'm going to get it off, but I can destroy it to get it off. That's not a big deal. I think that the water pump is this other pulley out over here in the middle, according to the diagram, is this one. According to the um, to the serpentine belt diagram that I found online. And so I'm going to take this off, replace it, replace the belt, and see if that's all it is. But I'm going to do it in a much better environment where we have access to gasoline to run the generator and we have access to water we're down to about five gallons of uh, drinking water and we also need to take showers because of the heat you know it, it uh, really speeds up uh, changing clothes and taking showers and all that stuff so we're gonna do it I'm gonna put everything back in I'm gonna uh, uh, take the dish apart we've only got a limited data on the dish too that's another thing I mean when the data is gone we're, we no longer have connectivity so I want to get under a tower Anyway, we're gonna pack up and uh, move this thing and just keep a close eye on the temperature gauge. Here we go, the first try. Since losing the fan belt. We are at 2958607. And we are at temperature zero degrees. I'll do as much as I can to hold the camera. The oil pressure is higher than normal. We're able to pull hills. The engine has, the temperature hasn't registered yet. And we're pulling a hill within about one mile. All the gauges are going loopy. I don't know if that means that the temperature gauge isn't working. 